Tennessee at Knoxville. It's time for the 67th meeting between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Tennessee Volunteers. Today's game is brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beers, for all you do this club for you. By Mrs. Winner's Restaurant, hold on to your biscuits. By the Big R and Four Dealers of Tennessee. By First Tennessee Bank, the Straight Talk Bank. And by the American General Life Company, Nashville. And by Auto Shack. Con Air Incorporated, 367-1431. More old Pontiac GMC trucks and Datsun in Gallatin. Office Furniture Warehouse, Cash and Carry. And by Sony. Hello everyone, this is John Ward. Here at Neyland Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee. This morning was rainy, foggy, cloudy. The sun right now beginning to break through the overcast as Tennessee prepares to meet Alabama, one of the great series in college football. Two years ago, Tennessee broke an 11-game losing streak against the Crimson Tide, winning 35-28 to before the largest crowd ever to see a game in the Southland. And a near an overcapacity crowd will be on hand. Whether it will reach the record, we'll just wait and see. Then, of course, last year, Tennessee won in an exciting game at Legion Field. Alabama comes in with a record of two wins and four losses, two losses in Southeastern Conference play. Tennessee, two, two, and one, also 0 oh and two in conference activity. Should be an exciting football game. When Tennessee and Alabama play, they are always exciting. You'll be seeing the action coming up right here. Just. Gallatin serve in Middle Tennessee. It's worth the trip for a better price. We're sold on honesty. The four top lines under one big roof with service guaranteed. There's Dotson, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, and trucks from GMC. We'll always stand behind our word. We're sold on honesty. More motors in Gallatin, Tennessee. This is Danny Davis, and if you're looking for new office furniture and you really want to save money without compromising quality, then the place to go is Office Furniture Warehouse. They have over 20,000 square feet of name brand office furniture at prices, well, let's just say that if you don't shop Office Furniture Warehouse first, you just won't save as much. Now here's this week's cash and carry special. Professional drafting table, this week only, $98. To make sure my cooling system is protected, I put a fresh fill of Prestone antifreeze in my car every fall. You should too. And there's no better time than right now. Because Auto Shack has an incredibly low price at only $3.97 a gallon. And if you buy two gallons, you'll get a $1 rebate per gallon from Prestone. That means Prestone antifreeze is just $2.97 a gallon. That's right, only $2.97 a gallon. Look for this full color eight page tabloid in your mailbox or pick up one at your nearby Auto Shack. There's one near you to save you money. 95,422 are on hand as the volunteers come racing onto the field and it's football time in Tennessee. The pride of the Southland band. Fight falls, fight. The volunteers led by the cheerleaders racing onto the field. Temperature 77 degrees. The fourth largest crowd ever to see a game at Neyland Stadium and in the Southland as well. The record still the Alabama-Tennessee game two years ago, won by the Volunteers, 35 to 28. Last year, Tennessee won at Legion Field, 41 to 34. Coach Ray Perkins, in his second year, brings a team which is two and four into this conference uh, contest. Last week, in a non-conference game, Alabama defeated Penn State, six to nothing. For Tennessee, McKenzie, Jones, and Xander out there as the Volunteers have won the toss, represent, uh, referee Harper, after Tennessee defers, Tennessee will receive. Alabama will defend the South goal. Alabama wearing the white uniforms with crimson color, crimson numerals. Their colors, of course, crimson and white. And this football game is underway. Kick coming to the Volunteers goes all the way through the end zone on the fly. So under the new rule in effect this year, 
Tennessee will have it first down 10 to go at the volunteer 30-yard line. It rained earlier this morning. Right now, there is no rain. You can see some of the wet patches. The field was covered. And as they took the cover off, a little water escaped right there. Tennessee to the line. Robinson at quarterback. Flips the pass. Complete. This is Clink Scales knocked out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. So Tennessee on its first play goes with that horizontal pass from Robinson. Let's take a second look as Robinson sets up number 10. This is Clink Scales, the sophomore from Knoxville, Austin East. And he is written out of bounds three yards short of the first. So for Tennessee, it will be second down and three. Tackle made by Robinson of Alabama. Robinson of Tennessee checking off against the four-man front. Here's the blitz. Robinson in trouble. Drop. Emmanuel King. A mix-up for the balls as the play gets underway. So Tennessee now has his third down long, about eight yards to go. Straight drop. Robinson running. Did not get enough of the first down. He was 10 by Davis. And it will be for Tennessee fourth down into the game comes Jimmy Colquitt. He's averaging 42 yards per punt. A senior from Knoxville. This is Richardson deep to receive the punt for the Crimson Tide. The punt is away. Richardson makes the fair catch and downs the ball right there at about the 21-yard line. Nothing to nothing to score. At quarterback for Alabama, this is the freshman Vince Sutton from LaGrange, Georgia. Pitch Horstead. Outside, picking up Yardy. Horstead rumbles forward for a gain of eight yards. Knocked down by Cooper, who has shifted from strong safety to inside linebacker. Here you'll see the pitch, Horstead, as Jones fights off, then gets caught as Benton is turned to the inside, and here you'll see filling 22 Davis, and on the other side, 42 Cooper. Second down, two, nothing to nothing, Alabama with the ball. Offset left. In motion, that's Braggs. Up the middle, Horstead, he's got a first down. 54 Jones slides in to help. They shove him back. Brown also 98 in on the stop, but it's enough for the first down and 10 to go. Here you'll see, driving up the middle, Horstead, as we take a second look. Jones with some help, but forward progress gives Alabama Bragg through the right side of the line, and he moves it on forward. And that's the first down. Horstead was, in fact, about a yard shy. So now it's first down, 10 to go. Bragg's carrying. Alabama, nothing, Tennessee, nothing. The tied with the ball in the first quarter. Bragg, 35, fumble, scramble, Bragg. The ball popped free, and Bragg's alertly recovers his own bobble. Alabama has been guilty of 10 fumble losses this year. A second look. Let's see who makes the hit. Well, that's Jones who forces the fumble. And it ricochets. Getting a hand on the ball comes McKenzie. But it slides back underneath. And Alabama maintains possession. Second down, seven. Inside handoff. Bragg cutting up field. A little misdirection with Braggs moving from left to right. Picks up eight yards on the play. He's now carried it three times for 14 yards. Davis makes the tackle, but it's first down, Alabama. Nothing to nothing. Ricky Moore in at fullback. Big 235-pounder. Slow to stop. 51 McKenzie. Then 20 Benton is over there, and a host of orange-clad volunteers. Ricky Moore. As we take a second look, there you'll see Benton turning it to the inside. Filling the gap is McKenzie, number 51. There's Brown. Second down, 10 yards to go. Caruth slashing forward. As Caruth, the leading rusher for Alabama, carries for the first time, picks up six yards on the play. Third down upcoming. Sutton, keeping, turning, carries it down to the 45-yard line, and that should be enough for the first down. Vince Sutton, 
is a freshman. Mike Shula, let's take a second look here at Sutton, comes spinning out to the left. You'll see the athletic ability of this fine freshman from LaGrange, Georgia. Chasing him is Jones. He gets there, and he gets some help, but not until Sutton has moved for the first out. And Alabama keeps driving, this time into Tennessee territory. More carries. 31 is Duncan on the stop. A pickup of two. Sutton, Caruth, Jones, 54, 45, Xander on the stop, and Alabama is short of the first down. Third down upcoming, and it's going to be right at, oh, what? Six, seven yards to go. Here's the give. A second look at this run by the tailback, Caruth, and you'll see the pursuit of Xander, McKenzie, Cooper. Charles Davis, third down coming up. Nothing to nothing to score. Alabama with the ball in the first quarter. Ball rested the Volunteers, 43-yard line, back to throw. Here's the pass. It is complete. Richardson, 35-30, carries it down to the 25-yard line. Big third down conversion by Alabama. Sutton throwing it to Richardson, who was the underneath receiver to the far side. A second look. Sutton. Richardson, 35, 30, out of bounds at the 25-yard line. First down 10, a 17-yard gain. Carruth to the corner, pursued, knocked down. Got a couple of yards on the play. Carruth now has carried the ball twice, right at seven yards. Nothing to nothing to score. In the first quarter, Alabama in its first possession. Began this drive at the 21. Second down, six yards to go. Back to the I formation. Tennessee shifts for down linemen. Carruth, not much there. Tennessee powers in to make the stop. The middle of the line there, and it's going to be third down upcoming. The pass incomplete on the third down try. 22 Charles Davis comes from his free safety position to cover the intended receiver Richardson. So Van Tiffen will come in. He'll be attempting a 36 yard field goal. And you'll watch it from the end zone. There's the end over end kick and it splits the upright. There's time out of the field with the score. Alabama three, Tennessee nothing. for everyone who takes the power and sends it down the line. Yeah, just for you, that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. Here's a warning to everyone having breakfast at Mrs. Winner's. Hold on to your biscuits. Walter, hold on to your biscuits. At Mrs. Winters, we make biscuits all day, so they're always fresh and light. Hey, Pete, hold on to your biscuit. <laughs> Chicken club biscuits, sausage and biscuits, our delicious steak biscuits, and biscuits for our great breakfast platter. Breakfast at Mrs. Winters, the lightest biscuits in town. Tennessee players spend hours studying game plans. Of course, some field experience helps, too. <laughs> Hundreds of UT students get a little quieter introduction to the positions they'll fill. Through co-op education programs, they combine classroom preparation with work experience before graduation. Co-op strengths help make UT's minority engineering program nationally prominent. Co-op education, another reason Tennessee is a place where you can shape your future. After the field goal, Tennessee is unable to move with the football. A punt of 50 yards, and Alabama comes right back. Moving against the balls, leading three to nothing. Sutton to throw, pass, it's complete. What a grab. That's Getchell, who makes the catch. An 18-yard pass from Vince Sutton to Getchell. Let's take a second look. Good protection. Sutton rifles this ball. Watch the catch by Getchell. 
extending the body and pulling it down, and Alabama is moving with the football. First down, 10 to go at the volunteer 16-yard line. The tide on top, three to nothing. Hand off inside. Horstead fumbles the ball, rolling, recovered. Tennessee, Tommy Sims, 16, has the recovery. Tennessee as we take a second look. Getchel, I think, just dropped the ball as he makes his cut. He's trying to move from one arm to the other and loses the ball, and Tommy Sims on the spot to recover it for Tennessee. So the Volunteers will have the ball first down and 10 to go at the Tennessee nine-yard line. The score remains three to nothing. The fight of the Southland band on hand as Robinson hands it off and Johnny Jones Rips the left side of the line for but two yards. So now in four carries, Jones has gained 11 yards. Swanson in motion. Robinson rolling right. Will run. Will drive forward. A nine-yard gain by Robinson, and Tunnelsey has a first down. Three to nothing to score, but Robinson carrying. Let's take a second look. Here's Wilson making the block on the corner. Here's Robinson pump faking, now running the ball. Downfield, blocking for Tennessee Clink Scales, and it's Tony Robinson who filters through for a first down and 10 to go at the right at the 24, 25 yard line. Put it at the 25 as Tennessee comes to the line. Trailing three to nothing. Robinson. Pass is incomplete, out of bounds. That was McGee who attempted to catch the ball. And it will be second down. Tony Robinson, a quarterback, a junior from Tallahassee, Florida. Johnny Jones, this time, spins over left tackle. Got right at four yards on the play. And the balls are faced with third down and six. Three to nothing to score. Tennessee sends Swanson shifting out to become a slot fan to the left. Robinson in trouble. Running, pass, intercepted. That's Lewis Dean who intercepts the pass intended, I think, for Swanson or for Howard as Robinson was a little off balance and dumped the pass out to the left side and Alabama has come right back with a turnover. Tennessee guilty of having an illegal receiver downfield. Alabama, of course, will take possession and it will be Alabama leading 3-0 at the Tennessee 33. Give to Moore. Moore starts left, cuts back to the middle. Powers down for seven yards. Three nothing with Alabama on top during the end of the first quarter of the game. That's Ricky Moore. And right now, the first quarter comes to a close. Time out of the field with a score. Alabama three, Tennessee nothing. This is Danny Davis, and if you're looking for new office furniture and you really want to save money without compromising quality, then the place to go is Office Furniture Warehouse. They have over 20,000 square feet of name brand office furniture at prices. Well, let's just say that if you don't shop Office Furniture Warehouse first, you just won't save as much. Now here's this week's cash and carry special. Swivel chair by Lazy Boy. This week only, $249. To make sure my cooling system is protected, I put a fresh fill of Preston antifreeze in my car every fall. You should too. And there's no better time than right now. Because Auto Shack has an incredibly low price at only $3.97 a gallon. And if you buy two gallons, you'll get a $1 rebate per gallon from Prestone. That means Prestone antifreeze is just $2.97 a gallon. That's right, only $2.97 a gallon. Look for this full-color eight-page tabloid in your mailbox or pick up one at your nearby Auto Shack. There's one near you to save you money. UT fans. Conair has a very special deal you cannot refuse. You know how you look forward to the big game, but how you dread the driving and parking hassles. Well, Conair can fly you round trip from Nashville to Knoxville for as low as $85 per person. But that's not all. $85 includes round trip airfare, a ticket to the game, and bus ride to and from Nayland Stadium. So make your reservations today with Conair 367-1431. Big Orange Country or Cross Country, let Conair's fleet take you there. At Dave Wheeler's Bellevue TV, we've got just the Sony you want. This Sony 26-inch color console with remote control is only $7.99. And here's a compact Sony. 
Believe it or not, it's only as wide as a 19-inch set, but it's a giant 26-inch screen, and it's just $6.99. Whichever Sony you want, they're on sale now during Sony's kickoff days at Dave Wheeler's Bellevue TV. That's right behind Kroger's in Bellevue. The second quarter gets underway with Alabama leading by a score of three to nothing, now moving toward the south end of the field at Neyland Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee. This is Vince Sutton at quarterback, second down, three yards to go. Sutton, handoff, Tennessee stops the runner. In this case, it's Moore trying the right side of the line. Moore got maybe a yard, and it will be third down. Let's take a second look at Tennessee defensively. Well, breaking through that Tony Simmons, who's in a tackle. And then Carl Zander is there to shove Moore back, 235 pounds. Senior running back from Huntsville, Alabama. Here's, and here's the pitch from Tennessee for Tech 12, 71 Miller. Widening out on the pitch to Karuk. And he is stopped short of the first down. Let's take a second look. The pitch, Karuk. 71 Miller, 51 McKenzie. McKenzie makes the initial contact, and then it's Miller cleaning it up. So Alabama has it fourth down, and the Tide will be trying another field goal. That's Tiffin, whose longest this year has been 53 yards. This will be a 44-yard attempt by Tiffin. Tennessee dancing around defensively. Alabama ready for the snap with Abney to hold. Tennessee might have jumped. Here's the field goal. It is up, and it is good. But let's wait and see. It was fourth down and four. And the official indicates Tennessee was indeed offside. So Alabama can elect to take the field goal and make it six to nothing or take the penalty of five yards, and that would give the tie to first down, and that's exactly what Alabama will do. First down, Alabama's Tennessee is guilty of a mistake back to throw. Here is the pass, complete Caruth. That's Paul Caruth who makes a diving catch of the pass by Sutton. So Alabama, which began this drive with a pass interception, comes right back down and they've got it first down goal. A second look at the pass from Sutton to Caruth, the diving catch. He's pinned by Sims, but it's got to be first down and goal at the four-yard line. This is the pitch to Smith, and driving in for the touchdown will be Paul Carruth. Beautiful twirl by Carruth on the corner. Fine blocking up front. Let's take a second look. The pitch, that's Moore who makes the key block right there, and this is Paul Ott Carruth. Banged down by Douglas, but he's passed a double strike. A third look. The pitch. Carruth with the cut. And with the acceleration, and Alabama pulls on top nine to nothing. Here will be Tiffin to attempt the extra point toward the south end. The kick is up, and it is good. There's five out of the field with a score. Alabama 10, Tennessee nothing. It's waiting for you. Thunderbird. Superb ride and handling. Advanced aerodynamic styling. Very satisfying. So stop. Get factory authorized savings of $1,128 on this specially priced, specially equipped Thunderbird Turbo Coupe. And that's before we start dealing. Your Thunderbird's waiting. But not for long. Life insurance. I never met a person who didn't admit he needed it. But how much and what kind? Whole life? Term? What about universal life? Your national life agent will be happy to explain your present policies, help you determine how much coverage you need. And if you feel you need more, we can offer affordable plans that will coordinate with the policies you already have. There's no charge, no obligation. Another reason why more people are coming to National Life and Accident. It takes special talents to make an office work, to bring together all of the components of a good office interior into a working design. You know how they do it at commercial interiors? They solve space problems that look good and work better. So, whether it's improving your existing office or furnishing a new one, call Commercial Interiors. Commercial Interiors, for an office that works for you.
Alabama leads. Tennessee marching with the ball. Back to throw. This is Robinson. The pass is complete. That's Jeff Smith from Milan, Tennessee. The tight end making the grab. And Tennessee is moved for the first down. It's 10-0 in favor of Alabama. Second and six. A second look. Tony Robinson. Good protection. There's the pass. Watch the cut by Smith who comes open. Makes the catch there. And is bumped out of bounds, but Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go. A third look at Tony Robinson. A junior throwing for junior tight end Jeff Smith. And so Tennessee has it first down and 10 at the Alabama 34-yard line. Tony Robinson thought about a pitch. Pretty well cut down by Emmanuel King, number 92. And Robinson made the decision to keep, and that was probably a very good decision. It's second down. Alabama on top of Tennessee, 10 to nothing. As Robinson drops to throw. Rifles the pass, incomplete, and almost intercepted. Ranging deep was McGee right there, and the pass was intended for him. He was in a crowd, and the pass is incomplete. So it's third down. Alabama defensively coming to life, leading 10 to nothing. As Robinson... Play action, handoff, draw, Jones cutting, driving, spinning, clearing the ball, first down, Tennessee. Johnny Jones on the draw. Third down, 10. And you'll see the give, the wall off by Tennessee, the block right there by Howard on the linebacker, the cut by Johnny Jones, exchanging hands, and carries the ball for the first down. It's a pickup on the play of 13 yards. First and 10, Tennessee at the 21-yard line. Trailing 10 to nothing, second quarter. Robinson, pitch Jones. And Jones carries forward on the sweep of the left side for a gain of seven yards. I said Jones, that's Charles Wilson who's come in at sale back, replacing Jones. And he moves for a gain of seven, and it will be second down. Jones now back in there at sale back. Swanson, the man in motion. The give to Jones. Jones spinning, twisting, and has the first up. So that's Johnny Jones for six yards, and the Volunteers will have it first and goal. Here's the second look. B.B. Cooper, number 30, blocking the linebacker. And it's Jones twisting, getting all he can, and that's enough for the first down and goal. Alabama 10, Tennessee nothing. The ball's moving toward the north end at Neyland Stadium. It's clouding up ever so slightly here. Has not rained during the game. Robinson looks over a six-man front. Pass into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee! The pass went from Tony Robinson to number 87, Joey Klinkscale, the Knoxville Austin East sophomore. Robinson is hit just as he releases the pass. It was a combination route, and the first receiver, and we'll take a look at it here on the third look, breaks to the outside. He takes one man with him, forcing man to man, and Clink scale breaks to the inside, and there he is, open for the touchdown. And so here's Fouad Reves to attempt the extra point. It's now 10-6 to 6 in favor of Alabama. The extra point is perfect. And so the Volunteers drive 71 yards in 11 plays. That drive, 4 minutes, 45 seconds in length. And Tennessee has pulled to within three. Alabama 10, Tennessee 7, 3.48 to go here in the first half of the game. As Reves will be kicking off. Set to go in the second quarter. And here will be Reveille. A bounding kick. Scooped up at the two. Five, ten. Down he goes at about the 18-yard line. And uh, the knee drags the ground back at the 15-yard line, says the official. So Alabama will have the ball at that time. At that point. First down. Ten to go. The tide on top by three. Sutton at quarterback. Sutton on a handoff. This will be Ricky Moore. Cuts up field. Hit the football. There's a scramble for it. Let's see. I think Duncan, number 31, is there. Let's wait and see. 
The football has been recovered by the Big Orleans. That's Jim Duggan. A second look. There's the give to Ricky Moore. And let's see. That's Jones who made the hit. Popping the ball free. And you'll see the reaction by Jim Duggan who dives, cradles the football, and Tennessee has it. First play after Tennessee's touchdown is a turnover by the Tide, and Tennessee breaks from the huddle with Robinson at quarterback. First down 10 at the Alabama 12. McGee in motion. Ooh, that's Wilson carrying the ball, and there's nothing there for him. And the man who makes the stop is that outstanding linebacker, Cordelius Bennett. There you see 97 Bennett coming wide, open, free, and he lowers the boom on Wilson. It will be second down and 10 at the Alabama 12. As Jones carries the ball, and Johnny Jones, who's back at a tailback, got a couple of yards on the play. And it will be for Tennessee third down and eight to go for the first down. 10 to seven the score in favor of Alabama. Nearing the end of the first half, Tennessee shifts into that single back situation as McGee comes out to a slot left. Robinson wants to throw. Robinson punts. Robinson throws. Incomplete. Carter says he has the ball, but the official says no. He juggled it. It hit the turf, and then he grabbed it back. So Vince Carter, the fine freshman from Nashville, a bit unnerved and upset. But Tennessee on fourth down. Let's take a second look as Robinson fades. Robinson slips out of the pocket, rolling right, momentarily thought about running, now rifles the pass, and there you see Carter diving, and from this angle, there's no way to know. The referee's right on top of the play, and so here is Reves to attempt what would be a tying field goal. 27-yard attempt by Reves. 10-7, to 7, the field goal is up, and it is good, and so Tennessee has turned a turnover into a field goal, and the score is tied at 10 to 10. 159 to go in the first half of the game. 10 10 the score as Tennessee will be kicking off. So Alabama went ahead, 3 0, then 10 0. Tennessee marched downfield with a touchdown pass to make it 10 7. Now the field goal after the turnover, and it's 10 10 as Reves is kicking off. Alabama, they pound it, it to each other, and the ball is received by the tide in the end zone and down and so Alabama will have the ball first down and 10 to go at its 20 yard line over the ball is neighbors the center handoff crisscross to Ruth tries to get to the corner and it's tackled as he does 29 Clark 42 Joe Gopher gain on the play of right at three yards as Alabama and Tennessee are locked in a 10-10 struggle nearing the end of the first half we'll take a second look the give to Caruth the senior from Summit Mississippi Weaves to the outside, is banged to the ground, and it will be second down and seven yards to go. The blank space you see in the east sideline in the stands, the spot normally occupied by the final of the Southland Band. They'll be performing here at halftime as there's movement, and we'll see on whom the penalty will be called. The final of the Southland Band will be performing. Friday at noon at Miller Park in Chattanooga. Concert in downtown Chattanooga en route to the game between Tennessee and Georgia Tech. Well, offsetting penalties, so right back where we started. Second down, seven. 10-10 the score. This is Carruth to the outside. He's slowed by Cofer. He's stopped by Dale Jones. And I think, let's see, we'll just wait and see where they mark the ball. A pickup right at eight or nine yards, so that should be enough for the first down, and is. First down and 10 at the 32-yard line. Sutton rolling to the near side. Looking long pass downfield. It is complete Richardson. 20, 15, 10, 5. Richardson scores. Alabama, 68 yards on a fly pattern. And Richardson just ran by. The Tennessee defenders made the catch in stride and streaks into the end zone. Here's Sutton. Here's the long pass from ground level. Beautiful camera work. 
the catch by Richardson being chased there by Charles Davis the free safety and by Kramer but Alabama has scored like lightning a 10-10 game is now 16 to 10 and here is Tiffin in to attempt the extra point as the score is 16 to 10 the extra point is up and good we'll be back with halftime comments in just one minute More Motors in Gallatin serve in Middle Tennessee. At More Motors, they say what they mean and do what they say. No matter what you want, a hot Nissan 300ZX or a sporty Fiero, the best-selling Oldsmobile or Pontiac, or the dependable GMC trucks and vans, More will beat any deal offered you anywhere. So make that short drive to Gallatin today. More Motors in Gallatin, Tennessee. Hi, Danny Davis for Office Furniture Warehouse. You know, people ask me every day if Office Furniture Warehouse really has the best prices on name brand office furniture. And what do I tell them? Absolutely. Office Furniture Warehouse has the best prices you'll find anywhere in Middle Tennessee. No fancy room settings, no high pressure salesmen, just 20,000 square feet of top quality office furniture. All cash and carry priced every day, only at Office Furniture Warehouse. To make sure my cooling system is protected, I put a fresh fill of Preston antifreeze in my car every fall. You should too. And there's no better time than right now. Because Auto Shack has an incredibly low price at only $3.97 a gallon. And if you buy two gallons, you'll get a $1 rebate per gallon from Preston. That means Preston antifreeze is just $2.97 a gallon. That's right, only $2.97 a gallon. Look for this full-color eight-page tabloid in your mailbox or pick up one at your nearby Auto Shack. There's one near you to save you money. Upwardly mobile people with down-to-earth business rely on Conair's 24-hour air charter service to fly them whenever and wherever their job demands at the lowest cost per mile. Because you don't always know far in advance when you'll need to be in another city, Conair has a fleet of Learjets and Rockwell Turbo Commanders, Piper Chieftains and single-engine Cessnas waiting to take off and lift you to your destination in relaxed comfort. On time, ready to work. Conair gets you there with flying colors. The Osborne brothers join the Pride of the Southland band at halftime as Alabama leads by seven points. Right now, 10 seconds for station identification. This is the UTV Network. Hey, it's John Schneider inviting you to join our friends at five for lots of rip-roaring action and high-flying fun. That's with the Dukes and B.J. and the Bear and Sheriff Lobo. Dukes and Friends, weekdays at four only on Channel 5. A score of 17 to 10, 10 first downs for the Tide, 6 for Tennessee. Alabama in the air, outdoing Tennessee and leading. And, of course, the big play was a 68-yard touchdown strike in the final two minutes of the first half of the game as Alabama leads by a score of 17 to 10. We'll be back with the second half in just one minute. Don't just ask for a light beer. Light! Treat yourself to the best. Bud Light! Bud Light, because everything else is just a light. Make this Halloween a Bud Light Fright Night. Look for this display and mug offer at participating retailers. Bud Light, the less filling light beer with a first name in taste. Football time in Tennessee means the renewal of traditions that are among the richest in the long history of the game. That's why each season, volunteer fans from across the state meet here each week to relive each highlight. And that's why your first Tennessee banks statewide are happy to bring you Tennessee Football 84 on the UTV network. Sharing traditions has always been a special part of life in Tennessee and a special part of the business of first Tennessee banks. Here's a warning to everyone having breakfast at Mrs. Winters. Hold on to your biscuits. Walter, hold on to your biscuits. At Mrs. Winters, we make biscuits all day, so they're always fresh and light. Hey, Pete, hold on to your biscuit. <laughs> Chicken club biscuits, sausage and biscuits, our delicious steak biscuits, and biscuits for our great breakfast platters. Breakfast at Mrs. Winters, the lightest biscuits in town. 
Action now in the third quarter. Alabama will have it, leading 17 to 10. It's fourth down and one, and Alabama in field goal range is going to go for the first down. Big, big play. Quarterback Sutton. Hand off. This will be Ricky Moore. He's got a first down. Ricky Moore crashes for three yards. He needed one. So Alabama will have the ball first down and 10 to go. And you'll see it being marked there at the 15-yard line of Tennessee. 17 to 10. Alabama with the ball. Bragg to the outside. Struggles forward for a gain of right at three yards. And it will become second down and seven. 54, Dale Jones widening out as we take a second look. Number one is Andrew uh, uh, Andre Kramer, uh, Kramer, and that is Kramer who is actually making the stop. But it's a gain of three. Alabama, handoff Caruth. Good blocking at the corner. Gets to the outside. Down to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Alabama. Paul Caruth sweeps the left side of the line. His second touchdown of the football game. This one good for 12 yards. You'll see the blocking, but then you'll see the great move by Caruth. Turns on the speed at the corner and just angled inside the pylon, diving the final two yards for the touchdown. So now in 11 carries, he's gained 44 yards, has scored two touchdowns, and Alabama builds its lead to 13 points, and Tiffin will try to make it 14. That drive goes 55 yards in nine plays, and Alabama sees Tiffin kick it up, and the kick by Tiffin is good. Four to ten, the score. Seven twenty-three to go in the third quarter, and Alabama will be kicking off as the Volunteers have fallen behind, unable to move here in a possession in the third quarter. And Alabama will be kicking off, and this will be Sanders as the kick is coming downfield, end over end, and it's down by Carter in the end zone for the touchback. Alabama 24, Tennessee 10. Over the ball is center McKenzie. Robinson passing incomplete. 35 is William Howard, and I think McGee was also out there as a possible receiver, but as it is, the pass is incomplete. And it will be for Tennessee, second down and 10. McGee, the man in motion. Alabama coming with a blitz, all-out blitz. Robinson in trouble, pumps the pass, almost intercepted. It was intended for McGee. He was double-covered, and Robinson had to cough it up or else be sacked. Here you'll see the pressure on the junior. Gets rid of the ball. Jarvis is the man putting the pressure on, and there you'll see it's almost intercepted, but the defensive play, really, of McGee saved the interception. And so Tennessee will have it third down and 10. Alabama getting pressure on the passer. Robinson off play action, better protection this time. Sets up, throws, complete. That's Carter with the grab, and Tennessee has a first down on the 15-yard pass play from Robinson to Carter. Play action to Wilson. Now Robinson with better time. There's the throw, and Carter is open. The freshman from Nashville. Turns up field, steps out of bounds right there at the 35-yard line. 24 to 10 the score, Alabama on top. Tennessee has the ball. Robinson handoff, Wilson. Oh, there you see the play by Jarvis. That sophomore middle guard from Gardendale, Alabama. A second look as he fights off the interference and then belts Wilson for minus three. The Vols needing something to get momentum building. Trailing by 14 points in the third quarter. Robinson looking, waiting, stepping up. Bang, he's dropped. That's Emmanuel King, who is in there for a loss on the play of five yards. Let's take a second look. You'll see Robinson escaping the pocket, still looking, wanting to run. Eluding one tackle, but then he is belted and fumbles the football and just cradles it back. So it'll be third down and 18 yards to go for Tennessee. 
A loss of five after a first down loss of three. And here's Robinson in trouble, and he's back. Once more, that's Jarvis. And Tennessee has it fourth down and approximately a mile and a half. There you'll see Robinson. Fine play by the Alabama secondary covering the receivers. And there's Jarvis sacking Robinson for minus nine. And here's Jimmy Colquitt into the football game. Third down and 27 yards to go for the Volunteers who trail by a score of 24 to 10. And here's Colquitt getting the punt barely away. Good pressure from the outside. The punt will be taken on a fair catch. A 42-yard kick, so there's time out of the field with the score. Alabama 24, Tennessee 10. When you come to Old Hickory TV and Appliance during Sony kickoff day, you'll think you've gone to football fans' heaven. Just look at this Sony 19-inch diagonal color Trinitron for just $3.98. And it's cable-ready, too. It can be yours right now for just $3.98. You really haven't seen football until you've seen it on a Sony. And you can see them all right now during Sony kickoff days at Old Hickory TV and Appliance, Myatt Drive near Rivergate Mall, the store where our customers send their friends. Come to more motors in Gallatin, serve in Middle Tennessee. It's worth the trip for a better price. We're sold on honesty. The four top lines under one big roof with service guaranteed. There's Datsun, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, and trucks from GMC. We'll always stand behind our word. We're sold on honesty. More motors in Gallatin, Tennessee. This is Danny Davis, and if you're looking for new office furniture and you really want to save money without compromising quality, then the place to go is Office Furniture Warehouse. They have over 20,000 square feet of name brand office furniture at prices, well, let's just say that if you don't shop Office Furniture Warehouse first, you just won't save as much. Now here's this week's cash and carry special. Real one of bookcases, this week only, $114. Richardson made the fair catch at the 40-yard line in Alabama territory, and the Tide have it at that point. First down at 10, still leading 24 to 10. Sutton throwing the pass away. It's incomplete. He was being pressured, and he dumped it out of bounds. Andre Kramer is over defending for Tennessee on the play. There you'll see the indication from the referee that Alabama had an illegal receiver downfield. So there's a penalty and also a loss of down, making it second down and... 15 yards to go. Alabama up by 14 points over Tennessee. The give. And Tennessee is there to force the loss on the play. This time it's Xander who wraps up Bragg. The ball split on second down long. And here you'll take a second look. And there you see Xander coming clean. And it is he who rolls Braggs down. Tennessee has played extremely well in this game defensively, particularly on third down situation. As they blitz, they jumped into a six-man front by bringing another middle guard in there. So now it's going to be third down upcoming for Alabama. And a sizable yardage to go. A fumble, a scramble, I think that Sutton, who fumbled it on the exchange coming out, was able to recover it, which he did, at the 29-yard line. So now Sutton in three carries has met four yards. And into the game will come the punter. Deep for Tennessee, Andre Kramer, a freshman from Baltimore, Maryland. Sanders is in the punt. 24 to 10 as Sanders gets the punt away. Kramer moving over, asking and making a fair catch, a sliding grab. There's a penalty marker down on the play. And Tennessee's guilty of clipping. So even though it is a fair catch, Tennessee will sustain a 15-yard penalty. And it will move the ball back down to the volunteer 15-yard line. Robinson on first and 10. Here's the pass. It is complete. The diving catch is made by tight end John Cook. 22-yard gain. The Knoxville senior played at Bearden High School. Let's take a second look. The replay as Robinson has good time. Excellent protection by the offensive front. Fine route run there by Cook, who comes open in the crease. A rolling grab, and Tennessee has it first down. 
First and ten for the Volunteers out at the 37-yard line. Tennessee in all orange as Robinson spots the four-man front. The pitch will come. To William Howard, the fullback, the lone running back as Johnny Jones sustained an injury to his nose, and he's not up to playing right now. So the balls adjusting with their offensive set go with a single running back, and it's Howard who runs the right side for seven. Second down, three yards to go. It's Howard again, cutting to the interior, slowed in his own backfield, able to move it forward for a gain of a couple, but it's got to be short of the first down. Third down upcoming as Tennessee aligns itself once more, trailing 24 to 10 in the third quarter. And off to Howard. Yes, he's got a first down. It's Howard crashing up the middle behind the blocking of McKenzie, the center. And Tennessee will have it first down. Robinson, screen pass, complete clink skate. He's got five, 10, 15, 20, knocked out of bounds. Looks like a 22-yard pass and run on the screen from Robinson to Joey Klinkscale. Watch the block here. I think it's Quanson on the corner. Here's the screen pass. That's complete to Klinkscale. And there's the clock that cleared him. And it's Klinkscale racing downfield. And the block was made back there by, well, let's take a third look. Maybe we can tell this time. There's Robinson's pass. The screen set well. Here's the big block right there, and I still can't see the number. It's a seven. 57 made the block. And running downfield, this will be Tennessee. First down, 10 to go. Trailing by 14. The pitch will go to Jones at the corner. Rambles back to the inside. It's Johnny Jones twisting and spinning and spinning his way forward for a gain of 15 yards. So Jones now has gained 72 yards in 14 carries, and Tennessee will have the ball first down and 10 to go. The ball's at the Alabama 15-yard line, the 11th first down for Tennessee. Tennessee trailing 24 to 10. The pitch to Wilson. Cuts back to the interior, is knocked down by Jarvis. Gain on the play of two yards, nearing the end of the third quarter. Tennessee trailing 24 to 10, hoping for a miracle comeback. The ball could come from behind for two straight years, but not nearly this far behind. Robinson rolls, passes, incomplete. 87 clink scales, double teamed in the end zone. Momentarily flash free, but the pass was just a little high, but it had to be high to evade the defender up close. Third down seven, Tennessee. Robinson, there's the reverse. McGee's got room, fine recovery by Alabama. And so Tennessee has stopped. A brilliant play defensively by Davis of Alabama. There's the pitch. And you'll see McGee's got some running room, but then watch the recovery right here by Davis. Making the stop, and Tennessee is short of the first down. So that's the end of the third quarter. There's time out of the field with the score. Alabama 24, Tennessee 10. Time. It takes time to create quality. The quality taste of Budweiser. Time to select the choicest ingredients. For exclusive Beechwood aging, to brew the distinctively clean, crisp taste of Budweiser. Quality taste. That's what people want in a cold glass of beer. And this is the one they want. Somebody still cares about quality. Now, Ford Ranger does it. Breaks out with a great low price. That's right, just $59.93 on the pickup with quality unbeaten by any major small truck maker. Based on a survey of owner-reported problems during the first three months. And Ranger has a wider cab than any small truck. Plus, power, payload, and tough twin I-beam suspension. Yes, Ford Ranger puts it all together. An 84 pickup at an 83 price. The best-built American trucks are built. Ford Cup. If you're in business and serious about it, where can you get all the business news you need these days? In a daily newspaper? Even in the best, you get only a section of business news. That's too little. In business magazines? Well, if you have to wait a week to read the news, maybe it's not news anymore. Too late. Too little, too late. There's one publication that gives you all the business news you need when you need it. The Wall Street Journal. 
Every business day in the journal, the world's largest staff of business news experts reports anything happening anywhere that can affect business, your business, your company, your career, in depth, in detail, in time for you to use it. If you're serious about business, too little, too late isn't good enough. You need the Wall Street Journal. Save $7.50 off the cover price with a subscription to the Wall Street Journal. Order 19 weeks for $39. Phone toll free, 800-228-6560. That's 19 weeks, just $39, and save $7.50. Phone 800-228-6560. After an exchange of field goals, Alabama still leads by 14 points. It's 27 to 13. Tennessee has the football in the final quarter of this game at Knoxville. Robinson pass. It's complete. And that, again, is the tight end, Jeff Smith, who makes the catch. A pickup of seven yards on the play. We'll take a second look as Robinson sets up. Pretty good protection. Good protection, in fact. There's the pass. You'll see dragging underneath comes Smith who took a count at the line before breaking into the pattern. And Tennessee trailing by 14 as some of the fans begin to leave. The ball's break. They have the ball at midfield, trailing 27-13. Fourth down and three, and Tennessee's going to try for the first down on fourth down and three. Pitch will come to Howard. Howard through the right side of the line. It's spun down, and they mark the ball. And let's see, Tennessee gambling, but not really a gamble, trailing by 14. And it is ruled a first down and 10 to go for Tennessee. First and 10 for the ball. So the drive is alive as Robinson in trouble flips the ball. It is incomplete because the receiver Carter came down out of bounds with the ball. Let's take a second look. Fine effort by Vince Carter coming into his own as a wide receiver. Here's the throw by Robinson. Now let's Watch it very closely into the air. Carter makes the catch. Let's see. He comes down with the ball on the out-of-bounds line, so it is incomplete. Back to throw Robinson. Here's the throw. It is complete. Tennessee's Jeff Smith. The ball still battling from behind. A courageous comeback, even though Tennessee trails by 14. Let's take a second look as the tight end comes again open. Here's the throw. Here's Jeff Smith from Milan, complete. And that pass is good for 28 yards. Let's take a look for the third time at this pass from the end zone. There's Jeff Smith. He's open, beating a linebacker. Now he's knocked down, but Tennessee has it first down. The ball's at the 19-yard line, first down and 10 to go. Hand off Jones, starts left, cuts back to the interior, is spun down. The Volunteers, of course, fighting the clock right now, trailing in the football game by 14, but trying to keep that defense on as Tennessee runs on first down. And so now, again, it's Robinson at quarterback. Back to throw. There's the pass. It is. Give him six. Touchdown, McGee. Tennessee set up that pass with the run on first down. Let's take a second look. Robinson. McGee double covered, but he comes open between the two and makes the catch and arches down and Tennessee pulls with an eight. The Volunteers always battling. Here's Robinson's throw, and you'll see McGee right in between the defenders. There's the catch. There he touches down in the end zone, and here's Reves trying for the extra point. Snap down, kick up. Splits them. There's three out of the field as Tennessee leads by seven points. To make sure my cooling system is protected, I put a fresh fill of Prestone antifreeze in my car every fall. You should too. And there's no better time than right now. Because Auto Shack has an incredibly low price at only $3.97 a gallon. And if you buy two gallons, you'll get a $1 rebate per gallon from Prestone. That means Prestone antifreeze is just $2.97 a gallon. That's right, only $2.97 a gallon. Look for this full color eight page tabloid in your mailbox or pick up one at your nearby Auto Shack. There's one near you to save you money. At Dave Wheeler's Bellevue TV, we've got just the Sony you want. This Sony 26-inch color console with remote control is only $7.99. And here's a compact Sony. Believe it or not, it's only as wide as a 19-inch set, but it's a giant 26-inch screen, and it's just $6.99. Whichever Sony you want, 
They're on sale now during Sony's kickoff days at Dave Wheeler's Bellevue TV. That's right behind Kroger's in Bellevue. UT fans, Conair has a very special deal you cannot refuse. You know how you look forward to the big game, but how you dread the driving and parking hassles. Well, Conair can fly you round trip from Nashville to Knoxville for as low as $85 per person. But that's not all. $85 includes round trip airfare, a ticket to the game, and bus ride to and from Nayland Stadium. So make your reservations today with Conair 367-1431. Big Orange Country or Cross Country, let Conair's fleet take you there. No onside kick. Angling the kick to the near side. It bounces and knocks down the pylon, so it will be a touchback. Alabama will have the ball at the 20-yard line. Some of the UTV staff on duty all over the field. As Alabama comes to the line, the crowd is very, very loud at the south end, and so Sutton asks for relief and is granted that by referee Harper. Tennessee fans standing and cheering, hoping for what would be an absolutely unbelievable comeback. Tennessee has come from behind two straight years, winning two years ago in Knoxville, 35-28 last year, and Birmingham, 41-34. It's now 27-20 Alabama. The pitch will go to the Alabama running back, and there, covering for Tennessee, number 45, Kyle Zander, senior linebacker, Minden, New Jersey, having an outstanding senior season. And here you'll see fighting through one block. And there is Carl Zander right on top of the runner, who in this case is the tailback Allen. No gain on the play. 27 to 20. Alabama leads Tennessee. The volunteer defense aligning itself. That's Miller, the middle guard. Sutton barking out the digits at the line. Running back split. Sutton, handoff. Tennessee covers. Fighting with the football, it's Braggs, and Braggs didn't get there. I said Braggs, I meant Horstead. He's thrown for a loss of a yard on the play. It's going to be third down and 11. A second look. You'll see Tennessee. Fine reaction. Great play there. 54 is over to help. That's Jones. But of course, initially it was 62 with a big, big play. Four minutes, two seconds. Alabama leading by seven points, 27 to 20. Big, big third down play for both sides. Sutton will bring his team up to the line. Alabama has the ball at its own 19-yard line. Leading in the fourth period, 27 to 20. The man in motion is Richardson, overloading to the right side. Sutton pursued. The pass is incomplete. Intended for Richardson, Tommy Sims over protecting, crashes into the retaining fence, and Alabama will be putting the ball. The score of the game is 27 to 20. Sanders is in here to do the punting. He is senior, will be getting the punt away. And Tennessee has, let's see, a seven-man rush. That's Andre Kramer, the freshman. Let's see what Tennessee does. They may get the return on. There's the snap. Tennessee is setting up the return. Here's the punt. Kramer under the ball, makes the catch at the 45. Gets the block, breaks the tackle, 50. This is Kramer, 45. Kramer, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Kramer, 15, rolled out at the 12-yard line. Andre Kramer, 45 yards on the punt return. And Tennessee trailing 27 to 20. Fourth period, back in the game. Here's the replay from the end zone. Kramer through two tackles. Now the wall is built. And watch the speedster turn it on. Down to the 40, 35, 30. Downfield, that's McKenzie blocking. And cutting back, it's Kramer. Knocked down at the 12. Tennessee trails by seven. This time out of the field with the score. Alabama 27, Tennessee 20.
Trey Kramer. That settles the up at the 11-yard line. It's first down, 10 to go for the first down, 11 to go for a touchdown, and this will be Johnny Jones knifing through the white side of the line. And Jones powers it down to the five-yard line. He's playing injured, but he's running the football. There's the blocking. Mayo made the block right there. Douglas is in there offensively at a tackle. And Tennessee's Johnny Jones moves it forward. The Volunteers trailing in the football game 27-20. To, to the line they come. Robinson. Robinson keeping. Rolling right. Look. Will run. Robinson dances inside. White fumbles the football, but I think he's got to be ruled down. Let's take a second look as Tennessee's Tony Robinson keeping the ball is downed. His forward progress rule to stop. Here you'll see Robinson looking. He wants to throw the ball into the end zone. The man is covered. So he cuts to the inside and he is knee is down as you see. And the ball is blown dead and Tennessee maintains possession. It'll be third down and about a yard to go. Third and one. There you see it written. 27 to 20. Some of the fans left. It started raining back near the end of the first half through the halftime and some people left and more left when Tennessee dropped behind 27 to 13. But now it's still a ball game. It's 27 to 20. Tennessee has the ball deep in Alabama territory. Robinson. Jones dives. He did not score. We'll wait and see if he made the first down. We'll wait and see as it was Johnny Jones hurtling through the left side. The chain is brought in, it is stretched, and it is first down, goal to goal for the Volunteers. First and goal for Tennessee. Alabama digging in, there's the goal line. Tennessee one yard away. Alabama sets itself in an eight-man line. Tennessee with the ball, the full house backfield. Jones, give him six, touchdown, big on. B.B. Cooper, it was his block, but Jones then runs through the iron tackle. He's knocked down in the end zone, but Tennessee is pulled within one. And it's decision time in Tennessee. A third look at the touchdown run by Johnny Jones. This is Jones carrying the ball. 18 carries, 82 yards, and a touchdown. And there you see it. Alabama 27, Tennessee 26. 2.09 to go. Tennessee is going to go for two. The two-point try. Robinson, the quarterback. This is Robinson. The option. Robinson keeps. Give him two. A second look. Tony Robinson makes the pitch. It's wide open. 6-3, diving, two points. And Tennessee leads Alabama, 28-27. The junior quarterback, mobbed by his teammates, the high fives with Howard, with Steph Smith. A third look at Tony Robinson. The fake pitch to Jones, and unless I'm mistaken, that was the same play on which Tennessee scored last year with Cockrell at quarterback, making the pitch, for the game-winning touchdown to Johnny Jones. This time, Robinson saw Jones had been taken, and so he kept the ball, and Tennessee leads by a score of 28 to 27, but there's still lots of time to go. Two minutes and nine seconds left. Alabama, which is led by as much as 14 points. Alabama was up by 14 points here in the fourth quarter. It was 24 to 10 when the quarter got underway. Tennessee now has scored 18 points, Alabama three. Here is the kickoff by Reves, and it goes beyond the end line, as you saw, when it ricochets down. So the ball will be hauled out to the 30-yard line. Alabama will have its first down and 10 at the Alabama 30-yard line. Tennessee leads for the first time in the game, 28 to 27. Sutton setting up, waiting. The pass, complete. The diving catch is made by Allen. Here's the pass. It is intercepted, Tennessee. Tommy Sims with the interception. 
coming back downfield, and Tennessee has it all. He's knocked out of bounds, but let's see. Tennessee, there's a penalty marker down on the play. We'll just hold it right here. Tommy Sims with the interception of Sutton's pass as Alabama went without the huddle. There's the interception by Tommy Sims. And there you'll see Tennessee setting up the wall. 54 Jones, 45 Xander, 22 Davis, 16 Sims. He wants to cut to the inside and keep from going out of bounds. 51 downfield, that's McKenzie. But Alabama's horse that forces him out. And Tennessee on the play is guilty of slipping. Or was it holding? That's a 10-yard step off. It's holding. 10-yard penalty against Tennessee, but the Volunteers do have possession. Tennessee 28, Alabama 27. 139 to go in the football game. The ball's leading. 18 points in the fourth period. The crowd standing, cheering. Johnny Jones to the left side. He's rolled down. Alabama has a timeout or two left. Two timeouts remaining. They take one. Tennessee back to the line. Leading 28 to 27. There's that full house backfield. The pitch to Johnny Jones. Jones running, cutting inside, roll down. That's Bennett. Again on the play of seven yards. Robinson helping out on the tackle. Let's take a second look. There's Tennessee trying to count the seconds away. Good blocking out in front on student body right. Jones is twisted down short of the first down. Robinson has come to the sideline after Alabama has used its final timeout. Tennessee 28, Alabama 27. Here's Robinson, at quarterback for Tennessee on third down. That was Hendricks in motion. Robinson, misdirection play. He's got to be nailed and thrown for a loss. So Alabama throws Robinson for a loss. Fourth down upcoming. Tennessee uses all of its time, takes a five-yard penalty. The punt is barely away. Somebody might have got a hand on the ball. It's Richardson making the catch, and he immediately dashes, but does not get to the sideline, or does he? Well, it's ruled that he did get out of bounds. And so Alabama will have time for another play or two. It's Robinson. Sutton, rather, back to throw. Sutton in trouble. Throws the ball. It is caught by a lineman, and that immediately initiates the dropping of personal of penalty flags because, of course, he's an ineligible receiver. So there will be a penalty and a loss of down and seven seconds to go in the volunteer defensive unit. Smelling victory. So are the fans just waiting to count away the final seven seconds. The score is Tennessee 28, Alabama 27. Tennessee in the prevent defense. This is Sutton. Looking, waiting, long pass is incomplete as the football game has come to a goal. And a miraculous comeback by the volunteers of Tennessee. Tennessee beats Alabama in Knoxville. Three straight wins for the Wilds over the tide. There you see it. The final score is Tennessee 28, Alabama 27. Football time in Tennessee means the renewal of traditions that are among the richest in the long history of the game. That's why each season, volunteer fans from across the state meet here each week to relive each highlight. And that's why your first Tennessee banks statewide are happy to bring you Tennessee Football 84 on the UTV network. Sharing traditions has always been a special part of life in Tennessee and a special part of the business of First Tennessee Banks. Give me a light. A Bud Light. If you just ask for a light beer, you never know what you'll get. And I'll have a light. <laughs> a Bud Light! <laughs> so if you want the less filling light beer with the first name and taste, don't just ask for a light beer. Uh, give me a light. Ask them to bring out their best. Bud Light. Bud Light. Because everything else is just a light. I believe that the best of what we stand for as a nation comes from the fact that we care. We'll pitch in to help a neighbor stand up to a problem and stand by each other. That's our heritage. Morning. And whether you live in Pittsburgh or Paris, Texas, Los Angeles or Lynchburg, Tennessee, you have a national life and accident agent who believes in that heritage and is there to help. 
National Life has never forgotten that personal service is what makes us different. That's one example of how good things happen when talented students are challenged by a teacher who's the best there is. Here's another. In UT's College of Liberal Arts, students who qualify as college scholars work closely with faculty tutors who are leaders in their fields. A typical college scholar is Colton Smith, who's going directly from UT Knoxville bachelor's program in microbiology to PhD study at Harvard. College scholars, another reason Tennessee is a place where you can shape your future. As you can expect, a very happy Tennessee locker room after the big one over Alabama. Coach Major is one of the great comebacks in Tennessee history. Just a normal day, another normal day <laughs> in a coach's life, and it, uh, it's really unusually outstanding, uh, courageous, uh, character-building performance on the part of our fine group of young players who have shown a lot of character and pride in coming back uh, uh, after adversity and fighting hard and playing hard, and they just won't give up. I, just, I don't know how the Alabama-Tennessee game can get any more excited if it does. Exciting, I don't know how I can stand it. But our defense played much better early, in my opinion, a lot of hard hitting. I felt like they'd play better this week. We had a few more people on the practice field. Our offense got off to a shaky start, as we all know, uh, because Alabama's improving a lot as a football team. Their offense shows improvement every week, and their defense has shown vast improvement. Some mistakes on both teams' part the first half could have been very crucial to both teams. Once we settled in, we got better. The, we almost woke up too late, but we settled in, and what a courageous comeback on the part of our team. And I was very proud of their play and effort, and very proud of the way our our staff stuck together and kept their heads in the game and came up with some awful tough decisions that worked out. Let's talk about the last eight minutes of the game. Tennessee was down by 14 points, and you put on a great rally. Well, that's so, so many uh, big plays in, that, uh, in those two rallies. It's just hard to recall them all right now. It's just right after the game, and there's a lot of excitement on part what of our players. What about the touchdown pass to McGee? What about it? It was terrific. Uh, Tony Robinson's two-point keeper was terrific. Jeff, uh, Jeff Smith's catch down the middle was terrific. Holding on the ball late in the game, running the clock out was terrific. It was just a, Andre Kramer's punt return in the wall set up. Oh, what a beautiful run that was in play. And Tommy Sims intercepting the pass. A lot of beautiful, great plays in the last seven minutes of the ball game. Tennessee scored with, I guess, just over two minutes left to go on a game. You were down by a point. You had the decision to kick for a tie or go for the win. What was going through your mind? Uh, well, two, two big decisions. Fourth and uh, four, third and ten, before we went for it on fourth down. If it had been fourth and ten, I think I would have punted the ball, but he got down to fourth and four, three and two and one. I made up my mind to go for it on fourth down. We made it, fortunately. It's a two-point play. Probably if we'd have scored with real quickly, which we uh, almost did, we'd have scored with three and a half to four minutes to go in the game. I might have gone for one and put the pressure on Alabama's back and hope they could win with a field goal later. Thank goodness we made the tough decision to go for two, and it worked out fine. Two other things I mentioned, Bob. So many big plays and so many uh, so-called heroes out there today, but uh, two big plays. Jack Sales handling the high snap on one of Revesa's kick, and, uh, and uh, Craig Cockwood's, uh, I mean, Jimmy Cockwood, having the ball out of the air on the last punt. What a fantastic win. Alabama, let's give them some credit. That was a very fine football team. They played well for really three and a half quarters. Oh, very well, Bob. And I, it, that didn't surprise me. I felt like we'd have to score about 28 points, I told the staff before the game, but I'm, I'm wrong sometimes. And uh, uh, I felt like Alabama's offense had improved a lot the last two weeks with their quarterback, and their defense had made tremendous strides. But I guess the thing now, you got to buy some more goalposts. That's all right, isn't it? I don't care about that. <laughs> Coach Woodruff and the contributors handle that. As long as nobody gets hurt, I, that's a dangerous thing. I hate to see that happen because it can be dangerous. This could be a big momentum builder for the team. <laughs> well, we got the type of team in schedule. We got to take one week at a time. That's an old phrase, but we got to. We have no choice. It should build our confidence and hope we have a few people well next week and keep getting better. Coach Majors, congratulations on just a great win and a great comeback. Thank you, Bob. I'm delighted. All right, Coach Johnny Majors, the head coach of the Volunteers, a big win over Alabama 28-27. Back to talk with players in just a moment. Come to Moore Motors in Gallatin, serve in Middle Tennessee. At Moore Motors, they say what they mean and do what they say. No matter what you want, a hot Nissan 300ZX or a sporty Fiero, the best-selling Oldsmobile or Pontiac, or the dependable GMC trucks and vans, Moore will beat any deal offered you anywhere. So make that short drive to Gallatin today. Moore Motors in Gallatin, Tennessee. 
outwardly mobile people with down-to-earth business rely on Conair's 24-hour air charter service to fly them whenever and wherever their job demands at the lowest cost per mile. Because you don't always know far in advance when you'll need to be in another city, Conair has a fleet of Learjets and Rockwell Turbo Commanders, Piper Chieftains and single-engine Cessnas waiting to take off and lift you to your destination in relaxed comfort. On time, ready to work. Conair gets you there with flying colors. When you come to Old Hickory TV and Appliance during Sony kickoff days, you'll think you've gone to football fans' heaven. Just look at this Sony 19-inch diagonal color Trinitron for just $3.98. And it's cable ready, too. It can be yours right now for just $3.98. You really haven't seen football until you've seen it on a Sony. And you can see them all right now during Sony kickoff days at Old Hickory TV and Appliance, Myatt Drive near Rivergate Mall, the store where our customers send their friends. So many big plays, so many big games are in this series, and also so many outstanding individual efforts. Dale Jones is with us, Dale. Tennessee's beat them three straight years, but this had to be one of the sweeter ones. Yeah, it is. It's, it's by far my favorite because, uh, you know, we were down, and, and I think the guys fought so hard, and, you know, we needed it so bad that, you know, for our confidence that, hey, it was just so great that I can't explain it. It was a little bit shaky, though. Eight minutes to go down by 14. Yeah, but, you know, I, I had confidence in uh, the offense, and I knew if we give them a break that they'd take it in and score. And, and you know, we we did that, and offense just took it in there. And, you know, and Coach Majors called a super play with it's like three minutes left, you know, to uh, go for two. And I felt like, you know, if we didn't make it, you know, defense talked that, that we could have stopped them and give our offense a chance to kick a field goal again. And, you know, I think that was just a, you know, a great call. Yeah, Alabama quarterback Ben Sutton showed a lot of poise under pressure the first three quarters. And in the fourth period, seemed like he got more pressure on him. Yeah, he did. You know, he's just a freshman, and uh, he uh, he's going to be a good one. He, uh, you know, as long as they ain't getting much pressure on him, you know, he can he has time to think, and, and you know, he can react, and he knows what defenses are doing. But if you get a little pressure on him, you know, he uh, it's harder for him to uh, you know see the yeah. feeling stuff. And but he's going to be a good one. You know, I can't take nothing away from him. Chance to savor this in a while now, huh? Hey, this is you know we go tonight. We're going to enjoy this, and we're going to get after it tomorrow, and you know, watching films and get on with the. Georgia Tech, and hopefully we'll do well. This is Tennessee quarterback Tony Robinson. He engineered the comeback in the fourth period. Tony, one of the best games, I guess, in your career, isn't it? Yes, it is. You know, Bob, it was a great victory for us, and uh, hopefully we can just keep going next week. I guess the big thing Tennessee fans want to know about, the two-point conversion that won the game. What were the options and what were the things that you were thinking about? Well, uh, at first, you know, we're going to run a flood route on the right side to flood that zone over there, but uh, we called timeout, we talked about it, and we decided to run the op option keep them spread it out and it was either keep for me or pitch the ball to Johnny and uh, you know unfortunately I kept the ball and scored. Was there any talk about going for one or was it two all the way? Well we knew we had to go for two to win this game you know I don't I don't think we uh that we want to tie this ball game it was very important in the season and you know we just knew we had to win the game and I knew you know I knew it I had to uh, either pitch that ball or score one and I you know I just had to score. And I well, what went through your mind when you got in the end zone you saw the officials hands goes up? Well, you know, once I faked the ball to Johnny, I knew I was going to score. I cut back on the linebacker, and I dove in the end zone, and I just knew I was in the end zone, and I was real happy. <laughs> Tony, what turned the game around? What got Tennessee back in in the fourth period? Well, I think that uh, when we came out, we were uh, kind of lapped the days ago, and, you know, I just told the guys, hey, guys, we got to move the ball. You know, we're not moving the ball well. Defense was playing pretty good, I thought. And, uh, you know, I just told the offense, hey, I need some time back here to throw the ball, and Johnny's going to need a couple holes to run through, and, the line got down to business, and I got down to, down to business. Johnny got down to business, and we all just got down. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Mayo can tell his grandkids one of these days he beat Alabama three times. Where does this one rack up in the list of victories? I think it, it ranks right up there with the other two. I think I thought after, after the 82 game, I couldn't see a, any more exciting football game than we played in 83. I thought, well, we, we can't top that, and then we come do it this year. It's just three of the most exciting football games I think that have ever been played. I guess the offensive line, really, you got to take your hat off to Tony Robinson for keeping his poise under pressure in the fourth period. He did a super job. T Tony did a super job today. Uh, we, we broke down a couple times on pass detection, and he scrambled out and, and made some nice throws. It was, a, I guess, a nip and tuck. What turned things the game, the game around in the fourth period, though, for him? What do you think? I think the defense came alive and, and shut him down, and, and uh, Andre Kramer's punt return was, was fantastic. You know, set us up on the 15-yard line. That, that really helped. Uh, and, and we didn't give up. We, we just all of us kept, kept fighting and kept trying. Bill, congratulations. Enjoy this one for a while. Thank you.
one of the big plays in a game of big plays was Andre Kramer's, uh, Kramer's, I'll get it right, Andre Kramer's punt return that set up Tennessee and put him at the 11-yard line. Andre, congratulations on the punt return. Thank you. What about, tell us how it was set up and did you see it break open for you? Well, all day they kept kicking the ball short and we really couldn't have time to set up the wall. And on the third, uh, third uh, punt, he punted the ball pretty deep and uh, Tommy Sims threw a key block and uh, the wall was set there. I broke one tackle, and Reggie McKenzie threw a good block downfield, and uh, I cut off him, and I didn't really didn't see the guy from behind, but it was all green after that. You think you were going in for a while? Yeah. How was it that, uh, that this is your first Tennessee-Alabama game, your reflections back on it? Uh, it's, a, it's a great rivalry, and uh, <laughs> it's the biggest game in my, it's just like uh, we had a high school uh, rivalry back home called Calvert Hall, and no question. <laughs> it was a big, big rivalry, and this one is even bigger because it's more people. <laughs> Exciting game, the most exciting one you played in? Yeah, because uh, we were down by 14, and, you know, we, the defense buckled down. We had to play well to give the ball back to the offense so they could score, and uh, we played well. So, again, a very important and a big win for Tennessee over Alabama. The third straight time the Volunteers have knocked off the Crimson Tide. Tennessee now 1-2 and two in Southeastern Conference. Play next week, Georgia Tech. That's the word from the locker room. John Ward back to wrap things up in just a moment. a warning to everyone having breakfast at Mrs. Winters. Hold on to your biscuits. Walter, hold on to your biscuits. At Mrs. Winters, we make biscuits all day, so they're always fresh and light. Hey, Pete, hold on to your biscuits. <laughs> Chicken club biscuits, sausage and biscuits, our delicious steak biscuits, and biscuits for our great breakfast platters. Breakfast at Mrs. Winters, the lightest biscuits in town. It's waiting for you. Thunderbird. Superb ride and handling. Advanced aerodynamic styling. Very satisfying. So stop. Get factory authorized savings of $1,128 on this specially priced, specially equipped Thunderbird Turbo Coupe. And that's before we start dealing. Your Thunderbird's waiting. But not for long. for everyone who's got what it takes to make his own breaks. Are we on? This is Paul Martinez reporting to you from the Internet Service. Yeah, just for you. That distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. From the International Airport, this is Paul Martinez reporting. Thank you, Paul, and welcome to the news team. Paul Martinez, my son. This is John Ward at Neyland Stadium. There you see the fans as Tennessee has come from 14 points behind in the final qu quarter to beat Alabama. The final score, Tennessee 28, Alabama 27. Tennessee football 84 has been brought to you by Bud Light, the less filling light beer with the first name and taste. By Mrs. Winter's Restaurants, hold on to your biscuit. By First Tennessee Bank, the straight talk bank. By the Big Orange Four Dealers of Tennessee. And by the American General Light Companies, Nashville. And by Auto Shack. Conair Incorporated, 367-1431. More Olds, Pontiac, GMC Trucks, and Datsun in Gallatin. Office Furniture Warehouse, Cash and Carry. And by Sony. job by our director Ernie Robertson, producers Ernie Robertson, Mark Dyer, all the camera people, all the crew. It's been a sensational presentation. We hope that you've enjoyed it. This has been a presentation of the UTV Network. <laughs>